About 200 years before Jesus was born, the Jewish kingdom was under tyranny as they have been so many times during their career. And this was a particular time when a king whose name that I, I won't even try to pronounce was after the Jewish people. And a new leader emerged from the ranks of the Jewish kingdom named Daniel. And Darius was kind of the guy in charge and chapter 6 of the book of Daniel, which is dedicated to the encouragement of the persecuted Jews not to quit, not to give up, not to abandon God or think God had abandoned them, one of several attributed to the influence of Daniel, several books. In the sixth chapter, before Daniel ever goes into the lion's den, which is one of the great stories of the Old Testament, the Bible tells us this, that Daniel had been groomed, he had passed his tests he had developed his character he developed all the qualities that were in place for a great leader that could bring hope to the people and in chapter 6 verse 3 it says then this Daniel became distinguished above all other presidents and became an excellent because an excellent spirit was within him and the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. Now, I didn't read that right, so let me repeat it. The reason why he was groomed and chosen at this point, the Bible says, because an excellent spirit was in him. Tonight, as I mentioned, I'm introducing our theme for Sunday. And I want you to think about excellence for a minute. When we do spiritual disciplines and spiritual qualities of patience, gentleness, kindness, forgiveness, and the things that are the common spiritual hallmarks and the disciplines of prayer and coming to church and studying and fasting and giving and reading your Bible, we sometimes don't think of excellence. But I want us to begin to think and think and pray before you come back on Sunday about excellence. What does it mean to you to be a person of excellence? Could it be that excellence honors God and draws the best out of people? Excellence can be inspiring. Sunday, I'm going to point out it's not elitism, it's not arrogance, it's not a lot of things, but we'll do that Sunday. But tonight, as an introduction, I want to go back and show you a, a music video of a song that I referred to in a Sunday sermon back during Advent when I said that Jesus had a great quality of strength and resolve. We often see him as weak, almost passive and helpless, but when you really study his life, he had incredible resolve. And at the end of that sermon, if you remember, if you were awake at that point, I quoted the lyrics of New York, New York. If I can make it there, I can make it anywhere. And that's the kind of resolve that I wanted to bring out on that day. Well, New York, New York has been sung by some of the greatest singers of our time. Frank Sinatra did a beautiful version of it. But since it's been suggested that I come up with a little bit, a little bit newer set of a frame of reference. I have a more modern star. This is a Brazilian guy that I have gotten to know over the internet who has made it big across his part of the world and big all across Europe and through Russia. Nobody in America has ever heard of him. And he hasn't really pursued the American scene. Maybe that yet will come. But he has got a diversified talent base, sings a diversified a repertoire of music and this particular version of New York, New York has got an old-fashioned big band but yet it's young people there uh, and I want you to look for anything that you would see as excellent and add to that any other qualities that might add to that excellence like class and dignity and perfection and respect 
and several other things, watch a guy named Daniel Boaventura sing for us New York, New York. Did you like that? Did you like that? I mean, obviously, it can't hold a candle to Moran and Mark on Shall We Gather by the River. But as a close second, I, I love that piece. Did you notice the lamp back behind him, like you'd see in your living room? See, part of this idea of approaching excellence as a spiritual virtue is to look for the little things. Did you notice the white cuffs and the collar? Did you notice the background singers off in the back, which is a very different tradition than that of a big band? Did you notice the lighting effect, the staging, and all of the things that make that the presentation that it is? Sunday. I want us to visit the possibility that there are too many areas of our culture that are losing a standard of excellence. Any old way will do. And behaviors that we see from a great segment of our culture that are anything but excellent. And if you're like me and you want to stay fresh and you want to be in the game of life and you want to be redeeming and positive, it's hard sometimes because being redemptive and being open-minded doesn't mean that everything's okay. Doesn't mean that everything's all right. Doesn't mean that everything's fine. And yet when folks of traditional conservative yet open-minded values voice some of these things, we get this pushback from people that want to say, oh, you're just being judgmental and oh, you don't understand what what feels right for you may be very different than what feels right for somebody else. But, you know, at some point, those of us who follow Christ have got to live by a standard, not in a mean spirit or judgmental, but understand that we are all pursuing that which inspires us to be better and find our own zone of excellence. It doesn't have to be in music could be in whatever whoever we are but spiritually could it be that God uses this gift to help bring the best out in us and grow us into that image Sunday we're going to look at some more we've got a band that we're going to show you that is a tribute band to the American band Chicago who never heard Chicago live but have put together a song and, and they do a remarkable does anybody really know what time it is does anybody really care remember that song we're going to watch Boa Ventura sing with a beautiful female vocalist who grew up both in California and Brazil and they're going to do a piece called Time Stand Still it's a very romantic piece and I'm going to intertwine some Bible and theological stuff into these examples and we're going to expand the definition of excellence and I hope it's a blessing to you and I hope to see you again on Sunday morning may we pray let me God thank you for the gift of this journey and for all of the genius you've planted in each of us in our own zone of giftedness that by your grace can be grown, developed, and cultivated so that we might be the people you dream for us to be, to serve and please thee in newness of life. May we find inspiration from things that are well done, not being narrow-minded, not being judgmental, but in whatever expression that it may be. As we use music in a worship format, may we think of many other venues where we find excellence. And may we be inspired to be that better me. Send us forward in Jesus' name tonight. Amen.